Hey, welcome back to the channel. This is Ikra Aslam. Uh, let me give you a short introduction of myself before starting this new tutorial. Um, I'm a student and doing bachelor's in physics from GCU Lahore, Pakistan. This video is basically a short tutorial of how to use multisim and also I'm about to make a simple circuit and then very find the results in order to let you guys understand more about the software. But before that, let me tell you the purpose of using this software. As we all know that in quarantine life, we are unable to go to the university labs to perform different experiments physically. And we all know that for electronics, we believe more in performing than doing just the mathematical work. So the software helps us to perform the experiments virtually by building a circuit and verifying the results. So today I'm going to make a rectifier with rectify is a half wave of AC. Um, let me just give you a short background of what the circuit is and all about that, how that works. So rectification is basically simply a conversion of AC into pulsating DC, like it has ripples in it. And to remove the ripples, we use a filter, which is mostly a capacitor, but we are not going too deep into that. For this tutorial, we will keep it simple. So first of all, we have to find the components which will help us in joining the circuit. And for that, we need a diode, which is the main component that plays an important role in rectification. So you have to go to the sign, which is the sign of DC source. And uh, from here, you will find all the components You know, from here, you, find, you will find all the components that you need for the circuit implementation. And since we are about to find a diode, so for that, you will have to go to the all groups and then diodes. It's right, which model do you want to use? Uh, here, I'm using one n 4007 d model. Okay. After diode, we need a load resistor, which is in the basic, and then resistor. I'm using the 10K, 10 kilo ohm resistor. Load resistor is basically uh, connected at the end of the circuit uh, to get the output result. Or the next thing that we need is an AC source. For that, you have to go to the sources because we need an AC source and then single voltage sources and then AC voltage. Okay, and the most important thing that you need to have is the ground. Uh, it is important to have the ground because otherwise uh, the your, your circuit won't work. And uh, for that, you have to go to the all groups and just write ground. Here it is. And there's another way to get the ground or different stuff by right clicking on the on this bar and using the virtual, I've already selected it. So you will get these uh, options. And from that, from here, you can get the ground which is the same thing that I have just found from this. So since they both are same, so we will just delete one of them. And uh, we can also use a function generator, which you can find from here. Like uh, this is, you can also use function generator instead of this AC source. It's up to you which one do you want to use? Okay, I will just set its frequency to 100 hertz and voltage, uh, say, he volts. Okay. Okay, now we will do the connections, join all of them in series. So, dated 90 clockwise. Yes. Okay, so.
connect all the components in series. Our half if the rectifier is ready. So diode is the main rectifying component. When AC voltage is uh, given to the half wave rectifier, which is this circuit, it allows only one half cycle, positive or negative, of AC waveform through and will block the other half cycle. So to check this out, we have the oscilloscope over here. To check the output of the AC form, we are using the channel one to the output and channel two to the input. Okay, so simulated and paused. So basically, okay, just to make it more clear, we will change the color of the output waveform to blue or whatever you want to choose. Sorry, I have to stop it first. Now play it. Okay, so this is a result. Now you can see that the AC form has been rectified and it has blocked the negative half cycle and it allows a positive half cycle to go through the circuit. So this is it, and uh, if you like my videos and you want more circuits, uh, circuit simulation over uh, the multisim, then tell me in the comments. Also subscribe to my channel, which would help me a lot and which would, of course, motivate me to make more such kind of stuff. So yes, have a good day and Goodbye.